Hello there, I'm Matthew Smith, one of the librarians here at UEA, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Cochrane Library. To start, visit my.uea.ac.uk and select Explore My Library. From there, pick the A to Z Databases option, and then Option C and scroll down to find the link for the Cochrane Library. When you arrive at the Cochrane Library, you'll want to select the Advanced Search option, which is in the top right hand corner. Now, let's imagine I want to find papers on cognitive behavioural therapy and its effect for people with anxiety. I'll start by putting the term cognitive behavioural therapy into my top box. I'm then able to add a second box where I'll type anxiety. Note that I have the option to use the drop downs to the left hand side of the search boxes to determine how deeply I'm searching the papers. But we're going to leave it with its default for now. And so we'll hit run search. As we can see, this has generated 135 Cochrane reviews and I'm going to limit us down to maybe the last two, two or so years. We now have just 19 Cochrane reviews, although you'll see the number in the tab above our records has actually remained the same. It's worth remembering as well that in Cochrane the results are split into different tabs. So by default you'll see the Cochrane reviews tab, but if you want to look at the trial register, also known as central, you can click on the tab for trials. When looking at the reviews, should you open any of them up, you should find an option in the top right hand corner to download the PDF. This will differ from trials as these will normally be ongoing or at least just records of research that was at one point ongoing. And so there won't be a direct link to a finished paper, but you may be able to find more information by looking up the author. If we come back to the advanced search, We'll now try and incorporate mesh terms into our strategy. To do this, we click on the mesh terms tab and we'll type in cognitive behavioral therapy. When we see that's appeared, we can simply add this to our search manager. Now our search manager allows us to view line by line a search and set it up with as many different lines as we need you'll find that each line gives you an idea of how many results are coming up as a consequence. So our top line has 10,258 results. If we now want to add our cognitive behavioural therapy term in, we'll click on the S drop down and key in exactly as we did earlier, our cognitive behavioural therapy term. Now to combine these two lines, line one, and line two, we'll type into the third box hash one or hash two and either hit enter on our keyboard or click the continue button. And we then get a live update to the number of records that we are retrieving. We'll do the same with anxiety, but this time we'll use the mesh drop down button to look up the mesh term so we're not navigating away from the search manager. And again, we follow the exact same steps as we did with our first set of terms and then we will combine together the mesh term for anxiety and the free text term by typing hash4 or hash5. Finally, we'll combine our two groups of terms by typing hash3 and hash6. And as we can see, that gives us 7861 results. If I click on that number, I'll then be taken to the full list of results. So for comparison's sake, I'll add the same date range that I did previously, or perhaps we'll say just the last two years. And there we are, we have 21 reviews now where previously we'd had 19. And of course, we still have plenty of trials, should we want to go through all of those. Now if I were happy with my search, I might now want to save it so that I can come back to it at a later date. To do this, I'll need to have an account with Cochrane. This is free to set up, I already have one, but you'll need to register if this is your first time using Cochrane. 
Once you have, you'll be able to click the Save This Search button and then either Save or Save As. I'll go with Save As so that I can put an example in for you. You have the ability to give the search a name and then also to offer a description which will hopefully aid your memory when you come to run the search again. I'm now able to retrieve my search from the View Saved Searches option and I can rerun it at any point. If I'm happy with my search and then want to export the records that have come up, all that I'll do is go down to the results list and either select all of the items or select individual items that I want to take out and click on the export citations option. Now you have a number of options for export. I tend towards the RIS reference manager if I'm going to use it in a reference manager or you've got the CSV if you prefer to use it in Excel. There are specific options for EndNote and for ProSite, but nevertheless I tend to go with the RIS Ref Manager as I find that file type more malleable, and therefore should I end up needing to use the file in a different program, I'm able to do so. And it's exactly the same process for trials. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any other questions or need some support using the Cochrane Library, do get in touch with your librarian.